どうせ君だよ so long since I last vlogged and it's because I recently traveled to the great American land of the United States of America yes this is not sponsored by the US of A by the way <laughs> I went all the way to Chicago to see Harry Styles I know I know calm down um, but apart from Harry, I also got to meet one of the most wonderful people I will ever have the honor of meeting. Her name's Shelby. She does have an abandoned YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. This was our first time meeting and it was so fun. We got to visit museums, eat wonderful food, spend so much time together. And it just, it was amazing. It was wonderful. I'm probably going to include like some Chicago clips on this vlog just because I want to immortalize that trip. I want to have a vlog that I can look back on and just relive such wonderful memories. And yeah, I just, hi. I feel like it's been so long. I hope you guys are doing well. Please let me know how October has been treating you. Have you been reading any good books? Have you seen any good spooky movies? I'm so excited because today I actually have a spooky movie marathon and we're going to, of course, watch some scary movies, but we're also going to be baking some scary cupcakes. We're going to be carving pumpkins. We're basically going to embody the fall girl autumn aesthetic and I'm really excited. I've never done something like this before. So I'm just, I don't know. It's like, it's a good time to be alive um, for me right now. So I hope it is for you as well. And if it's not, I hope this vlog brings you a little bit of comfort, you know, a little bit of joy. And yeah, for real, just let me know how your October has been treating you. I would love to hear everything about it. Even though I've been traveling, I have read quite a lot of books. I did have a pretty ambitious TBR, but excluding the two books that I'm currently reading, I'm only missing seven books, which is still a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's not a, a small number, 
but I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would so I'm very happy and I thought I would talk to you guys about the books that I'm currently reading I'm listening to the audiobook of the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman and I will be honest <laughs> I'm a tiny bit disappointed just because everybody told me that I was going to fully fall in love with this story. I was going to fall head over heels obsessed with this story and I'm not, you know what I mean? Um, I'm a little bit bored. I am like 67% of the way through. I could not care less about the characters and the story and where it's going which is very disappointing because of course i went into this book thinking it was going to be so fun and super atmospheric and i feel like it has those elements but i don't know why i just can't seem to connect with the story and the characters. If you don't know what the Graveyard book is about, we're basically following this one character, this little boy that's called Nobody, and his whole family has been murdered. <laughs> yeah, that's how the book starts. His whole family is murdered and he miraculously survives. And he crawls all the way to a graveyard where he is embraced by the ghosts of this graveyard and he's taken care of by these dead people and he just grows up with them it's a very peculiar childhood surrounded by the supernatural but the lingering threat of this assassin is just still there and we don't really know why he's out to kill nobody we don't even know why he killed his whole family and we kind of have like that mystery going on we also have nobody sort of learning the ropes of being a ghost even though he's not a ghost so it's like cute it's atmospheric, but I guess it's just not for me, I guess. I mean, yeah. I kind of feel alone on this feeling because I did go to Goodreads. I did read a bunch of reviews and everybody loves this book. And I'm just like, what am I not seeing? What's not clicking? So yes, the graveyard book, but I am reading one very surprisingly good book and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. du Maurier du Maurier yes this is my second time reading this book the first time that I read it was December 2021 and I gave it two stars now <laughs> if you've seen my October TBR then you probably have already heard this story but the first time that I read Rebecca I was on a 15 hour transatlantic plane ride and I was just tired I was surrounded by screaming children so I really don't think I was like in the best of places and just mindsets to read Rebecca especially because this is such an atmospheric and such a sort of gothic and very descriptive type of story so i definitely didn't appreciate what this book is when i was reading it for the first time and that's why i gave it two stars but i just knew deep in my bones i just knew that i could really enjoy and love this book if i gave it a proper chance so that's why i'm reading it for the second time i'm actually buddy reading it with a friend so we have our daily goals and i'm just having the time of my life as you can see by my tabs i've tabbed quite a bit um and we're only on page 98 so i feel like this is going to be a nice journey i'm definitely having a lot more fun than the first time that i read this and I'm underlining things, I'm writing on post-its. It's definitely a very different reading experience. I love that Rebecca isn't like your usual ghost story because the ghost of Rebecca never actually presents itself. It's not like your usual hauntings because Rebecca is so present in everybody's minds. Rebecca is so superior and so powerful that even just the idea of her is permeating everything and everyone, everybody's actions and ideas. They all have this undercurrent of Rebecca and it's just so wonderfully and masterfully done. I feel like it's, it's just a very unique story and I love the psychological side of it. So I'm definitely enjoying it the second time around that I'm reading this and I just, Fantastic. I'm so excited to continue reading this. I also received a very exciting package. I received some bookmarks from the store Moon Chips. This store may seem familiar to you because I have received bookmarks from them before. 
and this time around they surprised me with some Taylor Swift inspired bookmarks and I'm in love. I swear Mariela is single-handedly enhancing the quality of my bookmark collection. I've never owned anything Taylor Swift related. A lot of people say that my ring is, you know, based on reputation. It's really not. But sometimes I say it is. <laughs> but it's not but these bookmarks are so beautiful and Mariela didn't tell me to do this but I am going to be including the link to her store in the description below just because I really love supporting creative and super talented people and this is just wonderful and I really want to share it with you guys so if you're interested on seeing what other bookmarks Moonships has the link to the store is down below. You guys should definitely check it out. Thank you so much for this. I think my favorites are They're Burning All the Witches. Stop. And I also love You Put Me On and Said I Was Your Favorite. <laughs> that song just hits, okay? It hits. I have a very busy day ahead of me. Um, yeah, sorry. I just, I have to do some adult things. I know, disgusting but i am so happy to finally be able to start this new vlog i'm so happy to be talking to you guys again i'm so excited so i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog i need to go now and you know do some big girl things but i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog i love you guys so very much oh my god we also hit 67 i was gonna say 67 million <laughs> Sorry, we're not there yet. We recently hit 67,000 subscribers on Throne of Pages, which is disgustingly amazing. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but we hit 67,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, 67 is such a good number. It's literally the sexiest of numbers. Um, and I can't believe that I hit that, like that many people are subscribed to Throne of Pages. That's just ridiculous in a good way. And it just means the world to me that you would subscribe and support me and support my love for reading. I just want to let you guys know that I'm so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you to everybody who comments and likes and subscribes. You really do make a difference and you give me the chance to pursue my own happiness so i will forever be grateful to you for that i hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog and i will talk to you guys later
we are back. Everybody give a warm goodbye to Jackie Lantern. She did her job. She was the best company ever, but pumpkins aren't really meant to survive in the heat for so long. It's been like two days since Friday Night Frights. So it's time to say goodbye to Jackie Lantern before she poisons me, because I do believe that is a little bit of um, death. death, death. So <laughs> Friday Night Frights was a total success. We watched so many scary movies. We started The Midnight Club, which is this new TV show. It has 10 episodes and it is so fun. I would actually really recommend it if you're looking for a new TV show to watch during spooky season. It's very good. The vibes are there, the characters are there, the story is so entertaining. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm still not done with it. We watched the first six episodes and then it was 4 a.m. and we were like, okay, we need to go to bed. So we're definitely going to continue, but it was so good what we've seen so far. Today is a brand new day and I have a big old cup of coffee because it's just one of those days. Um, I really need it and yeah nobody's gonna stop me from getting my morning fuel i think this is going to be the end of this reading vlog but i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on friday night frights and also the little bits and pieces that i showed you guys of chicago i am planning on doing like a full dedicated vlog for my patreons so if you're interested the link is down below of course as it always is and before we go i did want to talk to you guys about rebecca because I have read quite a lot. Let me put my coffee down. We are now currently on page 309 and this is the state of my tabs. It's looking gorgeous, it's looking amazing and I'm actually so in love with this story. It's actually ridiculous how I could have ever given Rebecca two stars. Like that's just preposterous to me because I am loving this story and this writing and these characters so much it's so eerie and so horrifying at times especially chapter 14 and chapter 19 oh my god i could not stop reading but also i had full-on body chills because the scene that i was reading was so terrifying and just psychologically horrifying that i was like oh my god i love this but Oh my god. According to our tabs, we are two days away from finishing Rebecca and I cannot wait to finish this and give it a proper rating. So it just goes to show sometimes you have to give books a second chance and sometimes it's not the book, it's you, it's the place that you are in your life, it's the feelings that you're going through. Like there are so many different factors that can affect your reading experience and sometimes the book isn't one of them. So I'm so happy that I gave this book a second chance because it's coming out to be one of my favorite gothic classics. So that's definitely a plot twist that I did not see coming. I'm really happy with how my October reading is going and after I finish Rebecca, I'm planning on picking up Come Along With Me, which is a collection of short stories written by Shirley Jackson, the mother of horror fiction. So I'm really excited to start that one as well because it was actually recommended by one of you guys. And I feel like you know me well enough to recommend books that I'm bound to love. So I'm really excited to start on Come Along With Me because Haunting of Hill House and We Have Always Lived in the Castle, two books perfect for October and they were both written by Shirley Jackson. So I just know that Come Along With Me is going to be just as amazing as Haunting of Hill House. That brings this reading vlog to a close. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun editing because it's just been so long since I've done a sit down vlog and just going back on the memories and showing you guys bits and pieces. It just, yeah. It just made me really happy, so I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment. It really does help quite a lot. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for 67,000 subscribers. Here's to 67,000 more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.